I'm Brandon Berry. I'm the CEO of Block Harbor Cybersecurity. So Block Harbor was founded in 2014 in the wake of the Jeep hack that caused everyone in this industry to wake up to the realities of cybersecurity of future vehicles. At Block Harbor, we're broken up into two teams, Vehicle Security Operations and Vehicle Cybersecurity Labs. In Vehicle Security Operations, we're doing more design work for the standards and regulations, working with automakers and suppliers to help them ensure that their vehicles are designed securely. In Vehicle Cybersecurity Labs, that's what we're standing at here today. Those are our testing services where we can receive components, vehicles, or systems on a board and we can perform the necessary testing, whether it's penetration testing, fuzz testing, or functional cybersecurity testing, which we call verification and validation as a service. There are generally four types of testing that are necessary against vehicles where you're needing to validate the cybersecurity of them. You have fuzz testing, you have functional cybersecurity testing, you have pen testing, and you have vulnerability testing. Why we're using the Keysight penetration testing platform is because it consolidates the attack surfaces of a vehicle into a single testing platform so that you can have tests that go from Bluetooth to Wi-Fi to CAN bus to automotive Ethernet in a single sequence so that you can build up a suite of tests that can be used against a vehicle. So today we're using the automotive cybersecurity testing platform to send some messages to the vehicle to control one of the modules necessary to control the headlights of the vehicle. So we did some basic disassembly and reverse engineering of this vehicle here so that we could gain access to some of the modules and then access the networks that those modules are using. And then what we've done is created a test plan within the Keysight a test automation platform that is using a CAN interface to send messages to the vehicle to control the headlights. In this case, what we're demonstrating is sending a simple control message to the vehicle. But what it's really getting at is how we can use the test automation platform to verify the cybersecurity requirements of a vehicle. In other words, the requirements that were used to design this vehicle from a cybersecurity standpoint we want to be able to have test plans to help automakers ensure that the vehicle is meeting its requirements. The difference between design and, and testing is you need to be able to ensure that the vehicle is meeting the design in the first place. Many times with so many different hands coming together to craft a vehicle, you have different suppliers, you have different teams within an automaker, all of that needs to come together in a, in a way that the vehicle is secure and the, the automaker needs to do this functional cybersecurity testing just to ensure that the vehicle is meeting its cybersecurity design. So now I'll go ahead and run the demonstration here. So what we're gonna do is run a Keysight test plan to send some control signals to control the headlights for the vehicle. automakers are putting a tremendous amount of effort into securing future vehicles. And that's because they need to. The future of mobility relies on this backbone of cybersecurity. No one's going to want to get into a car that uh, they don't know is secure. And the automakers are really, really taking that very seriously. And if that's not enough, their own efforts, they're needing to meet standards and regulations that kind of have them provide the documentation necessary to show that the vehicle itself is secure.